Hey guys, girls too. Yeah. Uh, Sean and Courtney. <laughs> At boot camp. Our level four class on Sunday. It was awesome. You guys rocked it. You really did a lot of good work. So what we really talked about was working on a concept level, more so than pattern based. But we worked on leaders really being aware of what our position in our bodies and in our frame creates in our followers. And that's not just the same thing every time. What we do specifically affects what followers do. So we talked about, for example, instead of taking this left foot back on three, which isn't really creating a compression from my point of view at least because I'm moving away from the <coughs> moving towards me, we keep that left foot in front and pitch in so that we're getting a moment of both of us moving into connection and I use the actuation of my arms to absorb that connection. So one, two, I'm saying four, and then on the four, instead of chasing her down the slot, I use that body to send her and I step underneath myself to set the connection. Then from there, I can stretch or post whatever I want to and do. And followers, we discussed uh, approaching your three as more of a check step, so you're able to get to a straight leg and pitch past that. So your three is no longer three and four. It's now three and up four, so you're able to swing that compression a little bit more. Then on the underarm turn, we talked about leaders. The pace at which we're moving against or not moving against our followers really affects the pace of their rotation. So if I move into my follower, the rotation is going to be faster. If I move with my follower, her rotation is going to be a lot slower and have a longer track. So we're worked on intentionally setting how far or how fast we want the rotation to be. Then we also talked about the frame. The position in which we hold our arm really affects the pathway of momentum. So if I take my arm out and around, we're setting everything over here. We're losing that linearity that makes swing so great. And we're not giving the follower a pathway to her anchor. So we said what we want to do is bring the arm straight up from her frame and set it right back down into her frame. So she's never distracted from the slot or her momentum. And it's very easy for her to come back down into a good connection and do her anchor step. Um, then we went to a whip. We talked about really using the rotation of our body to set the pace of the rotation of the follower. So one, two, I can either turn really fast and up, or I could turn a little bit slower. One, two, three, and. We talked about also moving with the follower, not trying to be in opposition. That creates somebody moving towards each other. If you stretch rubber band and let it go, it snaps together. But if you swing a pendulum, it all moves together, right, in the same direction. That's more what we want. So what we're doing is we keep that left foot behind to really feel this to go with the follower. Three, then we unwind to give her the space to prep on. And now if we want her to go that direction, we go that direction. So instead of something across, we're going to step down the slot with her. Four, and as we pull on that foot, that's the beginning of a rotation for four, and the sending momentum down the slot on five, instead of turning and pushing five. That's a quick rip. It's a variation, a good one, but a variation. And followers, we're making sure that we're projecting the space that we need on three and, so leaders know exactly how much time and length of arm he needs to give us. And you need to project that, right? So I just can't come into it and say, no, I need this much space. I need to show him with my body flight and my momentum. Consistent pace, it's easy for the leader to get onto that flow. Then we just did a little pattern, Delio, oh, to yeah. kind of exemplify that. We have two hands. We call it the Mary Jones. Yeah. Um, the original is you wrap the girl around, and once she's here, you just use the rotation of your body to lead her in triples in sort of a figure eight, but even faster than that, really. Okay. But the real concept that we're trying to get across within this pattern is the idea of the leader's rotation sets the follower to go around us instead of past us. If I just turn in place and the follower <coughs> past me. But what I'm doing here instead is I'm taking the outside edge, my right side, and I'm taking it behind me and around. You see that, how that hand took the arc of momentum back through to in front of me. From here we just unwound the follower, we open the frame, continue this rotation, then we set into a slingshot, then we send her through. Make sure that when we're here, we don't try to go here, and then here, we're going to crowd in the frame. This rotation is already happening. Allow it to be continue by taking that left shoulder back here. So what I'm doing is I'm winding her. I'm here, my left shoulder goes back, and that's what brings her across. Boom. Okay, then I can send her through. That was a little form. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.